Shalom, and welcome to another episode of Trees, Trash, and Tinkering. Today we're doing a bit of trash fishing along the Werribee Yalak Creek. That's the original name, and it, it originally meant Backbone or Spine Creek. of the K Road cliffs. Absolutely stunning in the uh, in this lighting. There's lots of little little homes on it. Little animals have made homes out of mud on it. We actually start fishing upstream but I I thought this would make a really good intro. This uh, video would be absolutely fine and enjoyable to mute and because I'll just do a rambly, a rambly voiceover. And there's our first catch! A little green bottle, a frickin' huge uh, washing basket, we got the, the little hook out, getting, getting it out of all the spiky gauze. My best friend is on the tinny with me today. We are running vegetable oil all the way up, up and down the creek. We are fishing further up the creek, where um, where it's most natural, and our energy is best used. Little known fact: the legal limit for trash fishing for a piece of trash is 0.00. .00. You, can, you can fish up anything. Wow, now that's a good one. Mount Franklin or something. Oh, nice little one. That would have grown up really big if, if it had been left. We reckon this was where a pelican slept once or something. Little house, little little bird house. So we're just fishing out the trash from there, cleaning it up for them. They don't have thumbs, so we gotta we gotta do our best. Big bit of styrofoam. Ooh. Little known fact, styrofoam can have a hundred, a chunk that size could have a hundred thousand baby styrofoams. Wow. We're getting such a good catch, the tinny's gonna be full. I can't get over that basket we got before, that basket trash fish. We are thinking about doing actual trash fishing one day. There we are, there's a pelican feather. Yeah, actual trash fishing, get a, get some carp out and put them in our garden, or, or maybe try and eat some. Make room for more local fish. I was just using the trolling motor. It was, it was doing great. Here we are underneath an absolutely beautiful tree and epic, epic Kalara just freaking jumps right in and is just Throwing the fish back in the boat. I mean the trash. We're about to catch a chicken noodle soup fish. Wow, I think they're styrofoam too. Just getting some fish and wire out in the pot. It's really good to um get the shit that that the people underground can't get. And we snapped our, our hook. Ah, less range. More and more fishing wire. Good to get that out. A spray can. Rusty, poisonous, gross. Poisonous spray can fish. And here we are at a at a fishing spot down under K K Road Cliffs, and it's absolutely trashed. So, so we want to come back here sometime because there's so much to get. Like, it's all underneath the grass. We, 
since the sun was going down and we don't have lights on the boat, we just had to we had to rush back. Here we are with a diaper. Thank you, Stick, for getting it. And it's looking a lot better out here, at least. I know there's tons under the under the under the water, and that's about it. I'll put up another video of of just some cruising. It's really cool that other people do just cruising on this river. There's a few like um, there's a few sailboats moored up at at the base, and, and there's lots and lots of actual fishing along here. Up the top, it's often used for canoeing. And um, it's a work in progress. There's a lot of environmental work done around here. Thanks so much for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your day.